Hello, you see one of the loading coils for my 40 meter dipole. Uh, overall length of the antenna is about 48 foot. I made these coils uh, this morning. I'm having some problems with the uh, with the dipole itself. I couldn't get the uh, the full length uh, in one straight one straight line. So I had a dog leg it a bit, and uh, I had problems with VSWR, and uh, it just wasn't happy at all. I know a lot of people frown on loading coils. But um, so far, initial tests seem okay. I've run the f I've run the full 400 watt legal limit uh, through it on 40 meters, and uh, they seem okay. Anyway, <coughs> it's a standard um, water pipe of around about. Thirty-three millimeters. The diameter is about thirty-three millimeters. There are uh, thirty-four turns. A total of thirty-four turns from start to finish. Okay, I've got them. Uh, I've got. A, I've got the wire uh, wrapped around stainless steel bolt for some uh, fixings, and the uh, the main wire for the antenna then. Uh, is actually soldered as well. Okay, there we go. So it's 34 turns, and we have roughly four millimeters between each turn. So it's a gap of about four millimeters. Uh, VSW is very good. At, uh, at 7 megs, it's around about 1 to 1.4. At uh, 2 megs, it's around about 1 to 1.8. Uh, and then 7.1, it's about 1 to 1 to very, very low indeed at uh, 7.1. Use a homemade um, dipole center, <coughs> which is some uh, plexiglass. Plexiglass. There's the actual connection there. Uh, generally, the uh, plexiglass comes from work. I throw a load of it out, so I bring sheets of it home. It's quite thick. As you can see, it's thick plexiglass. And the other, the other part of the antenna then runs up to up to the telegraph pole in the trees. So. Uh, there's the other coil. Let me just uh, zoom in on it. I've lacquered it and then wrapped it in uh, electrical tape. I've lacquered this one, but I haven't uh, wrapped it in tape yet. A thin coat of uh, lacquer just to hold the turns in place. Okay, here we see the uh, finished antenna. Is one of the coils. There's the feed point. There's the other coil getting the mass going up to the telegraph post. Okay, there's the feed point, as we can see. There's one of the finished coils. I've now wrapped wrapped it in uh, electrical tape just to protect it from the from the elements. I dare say it'll get uh, it'll get damp and wet eventually, but for now we'll have to see how it goes. It carries on up to there's an insulator there, and it carries on up to my uh, top of my scaffy pole, which um, has my inverted L on for 80 and 40. There's a uh, a coaxial trap there for uh, 40 meters. Made out of uh, RG58. It's uh, it 
finishes about there. And get their uh, focus. So there's the end of my inverted L. It's basically just hanging there. So there's the inverted L. Coaxial trap up to the post. down behind the uh, shed to a ground stake and a couple of counterpoises running uh, across the garden here. So, I said there's my shortened dipole antenna for 40 meters, overall length about 48 foot.